hi welcome back to my channel i am mangesh and in this like in this video we are covering unix introduction what is a unix and uh, why we need to learn the unix so yes it is an operating system like windows and dos everyone is working on windows because everyone has a laptop and they are installing windows operating system no one is in, uh, installing unix operating system on their laptop because it is not a user friendly so let's see why unix came in the picture and uh, it came before your windows also because 1970s uh, the these two people came thompson and dennis ritchie they are a father of unix they were working in at and lab to prepare c and c++ language that time they have prepared one operating system called as unix it's a command based operating system which is a multi user multitasking and uh, you can right now you can install on your laptop also and why op operating system comes in the picture because yes if you have a laptop and it doesn't have an operating system then obviously you cannot you will not able to interact with your hardware you need to install the operating system first then uh, install then you can interact with the hardware hard disks uh, i'll tell you the why we need to use unix in the next slide you can see uh, first option is a multi operating system multi user operating system yes at a time multiple user can log in and they can do multitasking so performance is good compared to any other operating system it's a time sharing operating system uh, it has some pattern matching facilities it has some programming facilities uh, yes in automation mostly programming comes in the picture and that also you can easily perform on unix then uh, these are the major points because of these points it comes in the picture it's very secure and virus free in windows we mostly use quick heal then uh, uh, net protector these are the antivirus software to protect your pc from your virus but in unix you don't require such kind of antivirus because it's a virus free and it's very secure let's go to the next one because people are asking me what is the difference between unix and linux okay so unix is an operating system and linux is a one flavor see in 1980s n number of companies like ibm they have created their own unix operating system called as aix then linux is a, a vendor red hat who is a providing a linux operating system under linux you have a multiple flavors again ubuntu fedora and centos then oracle company has their own operating system called as uh, sun solaris uh, previously sun microsystem was a company who launched this operating system sun solaris and recently oracle company has a uh, take over to sun microsystem and their servers are the same solaris servers uh, then hp company also has a hp ux see if you are aware of all unix commands then you can easily work in any flavors of unix you can work in aix also you can work in linux also linux is mostly used in the market right right now previously it was aix but right now n number of it industries are using linux operating system because it's very cheap compared to windows and aix and uh, it's a freeware then uh, in the below you can see the difference between unix and linux so uh, one flavor of unix which is aix it's a license based no one will get the free copy of aix ibm is providing aix which is a unix operating system and um, it's little bit costly because for practice version also you need to pay some amount to the ibm then you'll get the practice version of aix where you can do the unix command practice but vice versa if you have a linux which is an open based operating system it is very cheaper than aix and windows and you can get it freely and we will we will also use linux in uh, our practical session to perform command practice so this is what the major difference between unix and linux which is you are seeing on the screen then unix every operating system has a architecture in the next slide you can see the architecture of unix see what is the main motto of operating system that you can easily communicate with the hardware in the middle you can see one point that is a system hardware and users at the last user will enter the command if you want to open any kind of file from the hardware then there is a command you will use that command and file name then unix shell will come in the picture shell is nothing but it contains all unix command your command will get verified over there if there is a typo error then you'll get the error from the shell 
but your command is correct then your request will go to the kernel kernel is a interpreter between linux hardware and unix shell and uh, it will go to the hardware if file is present then it will open in front of you if file is not present then you'll get the error file is not found so this way your arch unix architecture will work uh, similar we have a architecture for windows also but this is what the unix architecture how you will interact with the system hardware once you install unix operating system on any server or any laptop by default these folders you can see on your laptop like if i have a laptop and i have installed fresh windows operating system by default i have some folders available under my c drive into that program files folders that is uh, program files is a by default over there windows folder is there temp folder will be there by default it will come so similar we have these folders uh, directly come once you install any linux operating system or ax operating system on your server level or your laptop also so these are the directories are available bin uh, is a first directory under bin you can uh, see your executable files or command then you have a boot then dev etc under home directory you can see your uh, users how many users have uh, access of that uh, operating system then live where you can see the library files root you can see here is the root which is a very special it's a super user in unix like in windows you have an administrator similar you have a root which uh, if you want to install any kind of software any kind of commands then obviously you need to log in with your root user and it's an admin user and through that you can do any action so in windows we have administrator in unix we have root then uh, tmp folder is also there where temporary files will get stored var is also very important because in under var directory you can see log files by default log file will get stored in the var directory so we can see uh, i have a one uh, Ubuntu applications which I have installed for my Linux command practice and this is fresh where I want to see these folders uh, we can call directory folders comes in a uh, windows and uh, in uh, Unix we have a directories so we need to learn this command pwd right now I'm in this directory home mangesh under Mangesh, I'm present right now, but I want to see these folders. So I enter in first folder that is a slash. If you'll see PWD right now, you are in slash directory where I'm hitting the ls command, it will show me the how many folders or, or how many directories are present here. So you can see here bin, boot, then dev, then etc, then home. By default, these folders are present. Okay so we will see all those we will learn all those commands in our next video and uh, uh, for practice purpose uh, you will get a chance ubuntu application you can install on your windows 10 machine and we can do the practice over here so cal command will print calendar date command will print current date and time so all these commands some basic command we will cover in the next lecture so please watch my second video to complete the command level practice thanks for watching this video